Greetings adventures, it's David the Singapore expat and I am out and about today. I am at the National Museum of Singapore. I am excited to learn a little bit more about Singapore's history and uh, yeah, just uh, get a little bit more culture today. So today is a Friday and the museum is at 25% capacity anyway. So I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of light today traffic wise in there, probably not a lot of people. So I'm gonna get plenty of uh, time to spend with the exhibits. Uh, I took a vacation day today, so looking forward to just taking my time going through it today. Let's go. Let's start with Story of the Forest. Now, I found this pretty interesting because you begin in this large dome and there's all these flowers coming down around you, there's seeds falling, a lot of activity going on. And then you walk through and you're going around this uh, ramp that takes you down looking at different scenes in the jungle of Singapore and you see wildlife and you see it at the the highest tops down into underground areas you see animated uh, birds flying and deer and you even get to get into the the water and you see the lakes and streams and all the different animated items that are going on in there. And then it closes by bringing you back into this dome where you're able to once again look up, but now from below, and you get this fully immersive experience of all of this Singapore life just falling down on you. It's really awe-inspiring. This is pretty cool. There's an exhibit here all about the trees in Singapore and the significance of them and how people have stayed with the same trees for years, visiting them, walking around them, uh, collecting fruit from them, just uh, really calling out the significance of some of the special trees in different parks and different forests here. Next, we had a chance to look at uh, some of the older history of Singapore, look at how kampungs operated and just some of the the pottery that was involved and actual artifacts from the 14th and 15th century uh, when Singapore was still very early in its history. Uh, we saw some cannons and guns that were used during that time as well as uh, artifacts from uh, all over. What an amazing place. Look at this an old rickshaw. You can see a lot of great history here. So many artifacts. There are just artifacts everywhere. Here we have business documents. Business furniture and loan records. How business was done in Singapore. Apparently this tank is a replica of a Japanese tank and was used in the TV miniseries The Pacific, uh, which was a Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks production. Uh, kind of interesting that it ended up here. The next exhibit covers the founding and creation of Singapore as an independent nation and then of course their, their merger and secession from Malaysia. Here we see Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew's uh, podium that he gave, used for the first National Day speech and we also see his chair and briefcase that he used right up until his retirement. And finally, we have a look at him announcing here on television the secession of Singapore from Malaysia. One thing that surprised me was how much manufacturing was a major part of Singapore's history and their success. Uh, you just don't see manufacturing as a big component of Singapore today. And to see all these items that were built uh, back then was interesting and amazing. What I do think of when I think of Singapore are trees, and it being the Garden City, they had a great exhibit here on exactly how they have uh, been committed to greening up Singapore, and uh, and then also looking at just the, the HDB flats and the developments that have happened there, and so they showed a classic HDB flat from the 70s, which was quite uh, fascinating. Was I here? 
I sure was. You can see for yourself, I was here. Glad I came today. Well, that was my tour of the National Museum of Singapore, and it was quite the tour. I was able to get a lot of background on the history of Singapore. I think what I found most interesting was just to see the changes that Singapore went through through different occupations. And I can imagine just how frustrating, uh, maddening that would be as a, as a nation to be uh, occupied by the British, to be occupied by the Japanese, to join Malaysia, then to separate. Like, there's just so much change, so much uh, instability that was there. And, uh, and then now to finally have independence, it makes independence worth that much more. And so I can really respect that. And uh, yeah, just really want to congratulate Singapore for all the progress they've made since uh, becoming independent. Uh, clearly that was a, a good thing for them. So uh, really cool to see this today. A lot of great exhibits, got to see a lot of great artifacts, uh, got to see I don't know, it was, you, you saw it with me, uh, just amazing. I think I'm gonna go grab some food now. I'm a little hungry, so I'll probably just catch a bus and go to the nearest hawker center. Let's see what I find. Well, I don't know if this was actually the closest one or not, but it wasn't terribly far, so it looks like I'll be eating here. Looks like a great place. Uh, always excited to try something new, so I'm gonna do the rounds. We will see what I end up with. I'm kind of feeling noodles. I always feel like noodles but uh, maybe I'll, something else will strike my fancy. I am gonna do the wonton noodles today. Sounds pretty good. All right, so of course, I'm not able to eat in the Hawker Center, so I ended up taking it down to, uh, down to the water here, down by the river. So get a nice view while I eat. So this is probably even better. Uh, but I ended up going, as I mentioned, with the wonton noodles. And let me open them up here. Got some extra chili on there. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, and now that I got my mask off, I should probably address this. Yeah, I've been growing this out a little bit. Uh, it, I don't know if I like it or not, but I haven't tried growing out any kind of a beard for nine years, and it was really patchy back then. Um, I wouldn't say it's incredibly full now either, but it's better than it was. I also got a little bit of gray growing in here. Uh, that's what happens when you're an old man. You go gray, so I'm an old man, what can I say? Uh, but anyway, cheers, enjoy, hope you're enjoying your meal, whatever that might be, and I'm certainly enjoying mine. Mm. So, please join me on the next adventure with the Singapore Expat. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, if you wanna see more of this. Otherwise, we will see you on the next adventure. See ya.